When consumers think of switching to electric cars, they have to think of a lot of factors. The upfront costs, battery ranges, and manufacturing challenges are some of the problems that make potential buyers think twice before getting their first electric car. One major area of concern for potential EV buyers remains range anxiety. Taking an electric car over long distances remains a challenge as you have to factor in the availability and the speed of charging stations along the way. We know that all big car makers are swiftly making the switch to electric cars, but progress on creating a network of charging stations remains on the slower side. This is where Tesla holds a major advantage. The company's ever-expanding network of superchargers and latest innovations in charging technology is changing the entire EV industry. What is Tesla's advantage? How is the company fueling the transition to EVs with its charging network? And what does the industry need moving forward? Let's find out. Tesla's superiority in the EV market is undisputed. The company sells more electric cars than all other automakers combined. There are many reasons for consumers choosing Teslas over products like Audi's e-tron or other attractive EVs from legacy automakers. But one surprisingly simple reason is that Tesla's owners can drive their electric car for longer distances in full confidence that they will find a convenient location to recharge their vehicle. Tesla has already installed a sprawling network of 35,000 superchargers across the US and in many locations around the world. So while the rival automakers are still focused on perfecting their electric cars, Tesla has been thinking ahead and trying to make the whole EV driving experience better. The next largest network compared to Tesla is only 10% as large. So unless you buy Tesla, you have few options for reliable public charging. Now, we know that as of today, most EV drivers charge overnight at home. However, as electric cars become more commonplace, they'll need a reliable network of public chargers. Without that, the widespread adoption of electric cars will remain a dream. And Tesla has certainly been mindful of that fact. Right from the start, Tesla rolled out a network of charging stations almost in parallel to their newest models. For the rest of the automakers, this has remained a chicken and egg problem. Charging station providers refuse to invest huge sums of money in the charging network until there are enough cars on the road. But there won't be mass sales of cars until there are enough stations. Tesla, on the other hand, sold only a few thousand cars in its early years, but kept working on a coast-to-coast -coast proprietary network. They addressed the buyer's range anxiety problem before sending out hundreds of thousands of cars. Since it owns the charging network, Tesla is free to choose how to price the charging network, making it a sustainable revenue generating option for the company. Tesla doesn't just have the most chargers, it also has the most comprehensive network of all. The greatest strength for Tesla lies in its charging ecosystem. Tesla's charging stations can be searched from the car dashboard with reliable information regarding the functionality of the stations on the way. Drivers can also use in-car payment methods with just a click. Having prior knowledge of where the charging stations are located goes a long way towards resolving the range anxiety problem. So Tesla creates a more connected and seamless driving experience for EV drivers. So far, Tesla has kept its network exclusive, and according to industry experts, this has been one of the major reasons behind the company's success. They have offered large, serviceable fueling stations at all the right spots. Moreover, the Tesla supercharger plazas also tend to be bigger than the competition. Where a non-Tesla charging station has up to six stalls, Tesla plazas can have more than 10 on average, and some locations in busy areas can have as many as 40 stalls. So less congestion and more locations, which is probably why Tesla has constantly ranked the highest in EV charging satisfaction. After establishing a decisive advantage in the industry, Tesla is now looking to build its network even further. The next step for Tesla is obviously to grow its supercharger network even further. The automaker is currently growing superchargers at a 35% pace. However, their vehicle deliveries are growing at an even more insane speed, so the pace needs to pick up. The good thing is that Tesla has already announced to triple the size of its network by 2023. 
That growth will be especially visible in Texas after the start of production at Giga Texas. But before all of that, Tesla has announced another massive move. Tesla has recently decided to open its exclusive network to all EV owners regardless of the automaker. This is great news for nationwide EV adoption goals and also serves as a strategic decision for the company. As other firms inevitably get serious about building their own networks, the advantage of remaining closed will start to fade. So Tesla has expressed the intention to make the global network of Level 3 charging stations available to non-Tesla EV owners. The company has been running test programs in Europe for several months now and has now decided to implement the plan in the US. What remains to be seen is what kind of a payment structure will Tesla follow. So far, Tesla has followed a pay-per-use option at just 99 cents per month to non-Tesla EV owners. Each account requires a separate subscription and there is a daily charge cap of five sessions. That $1 monthly membership fee can be seen as Tesla's way of disrupting the industry and dominating the competition. It should be noted that Electrify America charges a $4 monthly fee. These low subscription fees will most probably be a one-time thing, after which Tesla will look to make the network more sustainable and add more paying customers to the fold. Opening up its exclusive network is obviously a big step, but it's not all about openness. In fact, it's a very calculated move on Tesla's part as the company is looking to get a piece of the $7.5 billion funding allocated by the federal government under the National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Formula Program. Tesla has made a proposal to the federal government under which the company will get federal funding for each public charging stall it creates. The decision serves all parties massively. For the government, it means saving millions on building fast charging plazas from scratch. In addition to the monetary benefits, the move will also remove the bureaucratic bottlenecks. Planners must negotiate for a location, go through the permits, and sometimes get the new grid infrastructure installed, which can take up to 18 months. So, Tesla opening up their network to all can be a major game changer if the US wants to install a national charging network of 500,000 stations by 2030. What will really be interesting to note is how that cooperation between Tesla and the Biden administration pans out. We know that Elon Musk and Biden have clashed in the past over labor unions and other regulatory issues. Musk has even gone as far as calling Biden a sock puppet, while the president has remained silent on Tesla's role in pushing the EV transition. However, with the prospect of a beneficial partnership for all on the horizon, we can expect a collaboration. But while this all looks rosy, there's another issue that the EV industry needs to resolve at the earliest. Tesla's ever-expanding supercharging network will help increase consumer confidence in EVs, but to truly compete with traditional cars, the EV industry will need better charging technologies that minimize the time spent on a fueling station. Tesla is currently using the V3 superchargers with a maximum power of 250 kilowatts and a maximum current of 631 amperes that provide 150 kilometers in range in five minutes. However, that is certainly not enough as most traditional cars can refuel in a minute. The good news is that recharging technologies are getting better every day. Tesla has already announced a 35% power boost for its V3 superchargers that will take them to 324 kilowatts. Once that happens, Tesla will turn attention to launching the V4 supercharger stalls that will have charging speeds of at least 350 kilowatts. The designs for V4 are already out and the deployment is set to begin this year starting in Austin, Texas. Along with the superchargers, Tesla also has a network of mega chargers ready to go. The Mega Charger is much more powerful than the Supercharger and Tesla needed it to charge the massive Tesla Semi. With an output power of more than one megawatt, a Mega Charger will add close to 650 kilometers of range to the Tesla Semi in just 30 minutes. The Tesla Semi hasn't hit the roads yet. However, the first Mega Chargers have already been deployed at the Giga Nevada and the Frito-Lay facility in California. 
Just like with its passenger cars, Tesla is making sure that they have the appropriate charging network for its biggest EVs. As for the passenger cars, the charging speeds are the one area that will continue to see massive improvements. Just recently, Chinese EV manufacturer Xpeng revealed the new S4 Ultra Fast Charger, which was first announced in late 2021. It's an 800 volt EV charger with a peak power output of 480 kilowatts, which is 40% more than the expected output for Tesla's V4 supercharger. Xpeng posted a video of its recently launched Xpeng G9 model being charged with the S4 charger. The charger successfully added 210 kilometers of charge in just five minutes. The company aims to install 2,000 S4 chargers by 2025 and can pave the way for ultra-fast charging infrastructure in the future. Speaking of fast charging, there's an exciting development coming out of Korea where a research team at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology has developed a high-energy density, ultra-fast rechargeable lithium-ion battery. This new battery can potentially reach full charge in less than a minute and can be the future of battery technology. The research team used special electrodes to create the battery. A porous carbon hollow structure with a large surface area was synthesized to create a capacitor-type cathode material, while the anode was made using a germanium-embedded hollow carbon nanosphere material. This reduced degradation and maximized the dispersion of lithium ions. The researchers found that the hybrid lithium ion battery using this process had an energy density compared to the conventional lithium ion batteries and the power density of a capacitor, which allowed for recharge within a minute. So, there have certainly been some developments to get excited about, and perhaps we will soon witness BEV charging become more similar to how a conventional vehicle is refueled. Till that happens, automakers must take a leaf out of Tesla's playbook and focus some of their energies and a lot of their investments on building a sustainable charging network. This is the only way for them to keep pace with Tesla and the fastest way for EVs to truly challenge vehicles with internal combustion engines.